Right, so today I'm going to be talking about the cook trap. And no, I'm not talking about cocaine or talking about some other type of plant or something. I'm talking about a bottle of Coca-Cola. Now, so many people find themselves addicted to this highly pleasurable drink. Of course, I know I was there a few years back. And even up to now, I still find it difficult because of the nature of the training I'm doing medical students a lot of us end up drinking countless numerous bottles of coca-cola a day now so many people find themselves so addicted to coca-cola that they cannot go a day or for two days without taking a bottle of coca-cola for some of them it's so bad that it consumes four to five bottles a day they wake up in the morning they take a bottle of coca-cola at break at work they take a bottle of coca-cola on their way home they take a bottle of coca-cola in the night they look around they don't have any food to eat rather than cook a healthy diet they go to the fridge and pick a can of coca-cola it's a problem and usually many people don't realize that they are actually addicted at this point because it's just a normal routine way of life but actually it's actually a very big problem consumption of this drink or other beverages depending on um, which is available to the individual can actually predispose one to developing numerous diseases such as um, diabetes and other comorbidities like um, um, cardiovascular disease myocardial infarction you understand so these are metabolic syndrome these are things that people are prone to when they keep on consuming and maintaining this kind of lifestyle now this is a problem because for many people it's very difficult to stop it's so bad that sometimes even when you consciously tell yourself you're not going to buy coke that day before you know you've already bought it and you are drinking it before you remember that ah i told myself i wouldn't buy coke today so the question is how can one stop how can one even try to stop it now to be very honest let me just tell you plain out it's not going to be easy to be honest you might actually need professional help in this regard but then depending on how strong your zeal and desire to stop is and to maintain a healthy diet you could change your diet pattern entirely you could see a dietitian who will give you a new diet pattern and, and that would assist to you carry fruits in your bag when you are going to work so that anytime you feel hungry or something you'd rather pick up on the fruit rather than walk over to go and buy a bottle of coke another strategy a number of people i know do is that they tend not to carry um, cash or their credit cards with them it's risky because you don't know whether you need money for something but then they notice that when they don't have money on them they end up not buying these drinks or at least not as frequently as they would have it they just carry so much money on them so another thing that people also do is that they get accountability partners who are going to keep them in check so anytime these people see them actually going or making an attempt to buy some of these drinks or beverages usually maybe they are close friends who they know um, it's always going to be around them these people are going to um, talk to them and guide them and remind them of maybe the, um, the challenge or the goal that they decided to keep to and yeah it's really very effective many um addiction programs or um, accountability programs make use of this strategy to help people recover from certain forms of um, addiction be it food addictions or whatever it may be then another one that is very unique again is the fact that a lot of people choose to commit to this kind of water therapy challenges so what happens is that they just choose to commit for maybe a period of time to just consume only water let's say a period of 10 days um 15 days 20 days as the, as it may be and during this period people consume nothing other than water and um, of course you if you try it you see there's this kind of rewarding feeling that you get if you're actually able to commit on um, actually finish up some of these programs you know coke and all of these um and industries that produce these drinks they spend billions of dollars on advertising and um, that's actually one of the biggest problems why you can't help it everywhere you look around you go to youtube you see coke adverts you um passing down the street you see coke adverts you see coke stores it's everywhere you are inundated by it so it's just something you just have to get used to and you just find a way to discipline yourself of course it's almost impossible to tell you not to drink a bottle of coke but then if you're taking let's say a bottle in a week or taking a bottle in three days or taking a bottle in a day that might even be understandable because there's a guideline daily amount the gda that you're expected to take but so many people don't look at that all we just do is know that we are thirsty and we'll buy a bottle of coke i don't even know if i living here now i'm still going to go and buy a bottle of coke as i'm living which is why we have to train ourselves and not to fall into the coke trap all right i hope you've learned something today but um if you have any questions you could just still drop them in the comment section and i'll point you in the right directions and i will give you put a link in the description to where you can actually get professional help if you have any of these issues and um hopefully i hope um, you'll be able to live uh, a healthier and of course um, um, more fulfilling life all right see you in the next video